What's happening with your world? It's your boy Low Key Low Ski back with another reaction video. One of the homies shot me a video earlier. I ain't even get to see it yet. So we both gonna get the initial reaction to this. But I heard that light skinned Keisha was on here cooking. So I ain't even gonna hold y'all. We ain't gonna waste no time. Y'all see the name of the website in the banner, Loki Organics with a X.com. Go ahead and hit the website up if you want to support your boy. Got all sorts of good products for you. Hit the like, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Let's get at it. But I feel also it just depends on what type of man you're going for too. So therefore you have to hold yourself accountable for what type of guys you're going for. Because if you thinking already like that, like you going into a situation where you feel like she coming oh, in he's gonna be cheating or he's gonna be fucking with somebody else, then that's not the one for you. Mm -hmm. Right. But what's your end goals? Like what do y'all wanna be? Do you guys wanna be somebody's wife? Uh -oh. What do you wanna be? Mm. Yeah, see, we talk about that all the time on the show. Sometimes I don't really know if I necessarily want to get married. Do you want to have kids? I do want to have kids. What? Hold but up. I'm not sure if I want to get married. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You see? This is one of the major problems that we're having as black people in the community where the women they don't care if there's a father in the picture or not. They don't care if there's a two parent household or not. They don't care to give their child that advantage that the other children are getting by having two parents in the household, by having two sources of income to be able to afford those after school programs, those trades, those tutors if need be. They don't care to have that kind of structure anymore. They just want the goddamn baby. It just reminds me of spoiled children. Mommy, I want the doll. I want to be able to play with the doll. This doll does this and it's cute and, it, and I can take pictures of it. This is how they look at children now. They are looking at children like they're just toys. You don't even care whether or not you got two people in the household or not. You just want the goddamn toys. Spoiled brats. So why do you... This is my question. Okay. Why... Do you want to have kids? Hell no! She always... She always... I got to drink. I got too much shit to do. But why... Okay, so you don't want to have kids. Who could have smoked liquor to drink? Who, who the hell wants to be a mom and, and, and help create something that could possibly be helping in the black community? Who the hell wants to do that? I'd rather smoke my hookah and, and drink Henny. What's wrong with you guys? So, okay, uh -oh. you, you a different story, but you, <laughs> okay. you want to have kids, but you don't know if you want to get married. So that means that you already going to be, you're planning to already bring this child to and, and have a deficit in their life, right? Oh. I mean, I feel like if I find the right person, we could get married. I feel like I keep telling you niggas about that. As soon as you hear, I feel like the cat begins. I just, sometimes I don't really have a lot of faith. But in do you have to find niggas. the right person? I don't got a lot of faith in these niggas. These niggas want families. These niggas ain't the ones leaving relationship. 80% of divorces filed by women. These men are not the ones wrecking homes. These men are not the ones breaking up two parent households. It's women like you who said that you don't have no trust in these niggas, but you got enough trust to let them shoot the club up and make a child with you, stupid. But you don't have enough trust to build with him. So what's the point in letting him shoot the club up? You don't have no trust in these niggas. So the hell with the diseases and everything else. You just gonna let a nigga shoot the club up, get your baby. You got enough trust for that. But you ain't got enough trust to, to marry somebody? You stupid. But men are the problem? Eight. But do you have to find niggas. the right person to have the baby? I do think I have to find the right person to have a kid. But I also feel like I'm in a position where I'm doing things for my own. So I would completely be okay with having to take on that responsibility by myself. As, as far as you can't make this shit up. She feels that she could do this by herself. Just cause she make a little bit of money, she thinks she gonna be able to buy the happiness for this child. She thinks she's gonna be able to buy a father for this child. You think you're gonna be able to replace something that is irreplaceable. Stupid. Ask any girl out here that had to grow up without a father. Could money replace what your father would have given you? That knowledge that your father would have given you. That courtship that you would have been able to get from other men if you would have ran them by your father first. That protection that you would have had on the streets had you had a father in the household ask the children ask the children could their mom supplement what a father would have given them but these women just assume that they can do it by themselves they feel they could do anything that a man could do you never hear men say i feel like i could do everything that a woman could do i feel like i could bleed for a week and still live afterwards i feel like i could deal with those cramps i feel like i could deal with the pain of childbirth i feel like i could no, you you will never hear men step out of line to believe that we could do what women could, could do but they assume that they can replace what we are you cannot replace a father stupid you can't replace that image you can't replace that guidance 
and that's the other things that fathers are bringing. She's just assuming because she make money that she could take care of this kid on her own. Mommy, I want my toy and I want it now. You stupid. That's the attitude that she has. I'm old enough to have that doll now. I could take care of that doll by myself, mommy. I don't need your help with it. Her financial she go if I have to. I don't think that's okay. Ooh, I don't Thank think you. it's okay <laughs> neither, but I feel like it's the reality like of Keisha? like the Why? generation that we live in. Cause I just feel like that's how most of these niggas are. I don't know. You feel like that's how most of these niggas are. Look at the way you talk, you sound like a man and you worried about how, you, you wanna know the biggest problem with a lot of relationships? Men don't like another man in the house. Bruh. We don't want another nigga living with us. That's why we kick the sons out and that's why women kick the daughters out. And no man wants another man in their household, especially when it's supposed to be their woman. Oh, so these niggas is the God. ones twerking on the internet with their children in the background watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these niggas is the ones saying, fuck you, I'll see you in court. I don't need you, I just need your money. And if I can't get your money, I'll go to daddy government to be able to fill in the blanks for you. These niggas is not the ones moving like this. You ain't got no trust in these niggas, but you trust them enough to shoot the club up and make that baby with you though, huh? Bruh. That's not as serious. Oh, those are the niggas that you going after. Stupid. You Bingo. got to find somebody that's going to- But I don't really you. be going after nobody. It be the people that be coming after me. I don't go. <laughs> <laughs> but you accept them. I don't go chase these niggas. You okay. be the niggas that be trying to talk to me. Well, not me. necessarily go after, but I'm saying like, these obviously, if you're giving your attention to these people, mm -hmm. then you know what I'm saying? That's what's going, you know? But I just feel like you, women, we have to take accountability as far oh. as like where we're giving our attention to. Gotcha, baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The type of man that we're giving our attention to. I but agree. I don't think, I think I want, me personally, I want marriage to be a thing again. Talk mm -hmm. about you it. You know, I want women to feel like they should be able to get married because y'all deserve go. that. Why not? You right. know what I'm saying? I mean, I want it to be a thing again. So I talk about it all the yeah. time on the show, how I grew up. I want it to be a thing again. I want marriage to be a thing again, but I don't care if I get married. I just want the baby. But I want marriage to be a thing again. You stupid. That's why I tell y'all, y'all gotta decipher through this woman needs. You gotta be able to decipher when they capping. You don't care if marriage is a thing again because you don't even care to be married, but you want the child. Gotcha, You're bitch. perfectly okay with having a child by a man, but you don't give a damn about that marriage. In a two parent household, my parents See? were married my whole life, but I just feel like niggas don't be built like how my daddy was no more. Like, really don't. No, we are not gonna accept that. It's not the fact that men are not built like your daddy was no more. Women are not built like your mama was no more. Another your one. mother was aspiring to be married, and that's the reason that she married your father. No games played. Raised you in a two-parent household, and according to you, it seems like they did a pretty damn good job. You seem pretty successful. But you think that niggas ain't built like your daddy was. No, women ain't built like your mama was. Women flee first chance that they get. Women are easily swayed by what their friends have to say. Your mama wasn't. Another one. Your mama wasn't. And your mama also had friends that wanted the exact same thing that your mama wanted. And if not, then your mama wasn't friends with them no more. They not built like your mama was no more. Don't talk about men ain't built like your father was no more. Yes, the hell we are. We are still here. Oh, I feel you. But there are some dudes out there that's built like that. Yeah. And it just, it's going to take time, but you can you, find one. But time is kind of ticking. Mm-hmm. Well, that's the end of the video. If you guys want to get over there, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys to be able to get over there and view the whole thing. We're going to continue to have these kind of conversations. If you guys want to, hit me up on Facebook. Send me some videos that you guys want me to react to. Visit lowkeyorganicswithax.com. You see the website going across the bottom. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Stay away from women that plan on ruining lives the way that she is. The reason that there is an 80% single parent household is because of women who think like her. The reason that you feel like men aren't the way that that your daddy was is because women have been treating them differently than your mama was. Now men have to feel like y'all don't want to spend the rest of your life with a man and that's why you would rather have the children over the marriage. And that's gonna be the end of that. It's your boy Loki Lowski. Over and out. Peace. Y'all know I had to come back with another one. OBD Yeah, I said little homie was cracking. I came off the dome on this beat cause it's slacker. Let me light the gas and get back to my magic. This shit could get tragic. Fix all my blunts, I don't puff puff and pass it. Call me your tenders, I end all the static. 45 introducing the caskets, let them do gymnastics. I'll pick a beat and have fun with it, gotta go dumb.